Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Ian Carroll is who we're looking at again, so let's begin. And special thanks to Mark Scott for sharing this. In the past, we did a video on Ian Carroll and his involvement with the Bethel Leaders Network. We showed some of his money-making schools, him telling us about his two and a half angels that are always with him, and them praying for blessings over St. Patrick's grave. Yeah, you gotta see this video because it is super cringe. He even tells strange stories of decapitated bodies preaching the gospel. They martyred this one guy, cut his head off. He wouldn't stop preaching the gospel. So his body got up, grabbed the head, and started to walk up Mont Mar, preaching the gospel. Ooh, wow. Crazy stuff. And then we read in Acts 19 that Paul did extraordinary powers. Makes me happy. Scripture speaks about people like this and calls them greedy teachers that make up stories. One version says they make up clever lies to take your money. And like with all these self-appointed apostles, they have no way of proving these stories. So you have to believe them or risk calling one of God's so-called apostles a liar. And now they have a new training course called Foundations, a school for apostles and prophets. And hey, this starts in October this year, so there's still time to join, but I wouldn't recommend it. But if someone does want to reserve their spot, they can do that here, where we see it's a total of 15 days over nine months. And that'll cost you $3,000 per person or $4,500 per couple if you pay up front and even more if you pay separately. What was that Paul said in 2 Corinthians 2.17? Oh right, they didn't peddle the word of God for profit, but instead spoke with sincerity as those sent from God. And let's be clear, a school for apostles run by a false apostle is definitely not of God. We've been warned of false apostles in 2 Corinthians 11 and that the devil does the same thing, masquerading as an angel of light. But unfortunately, people seem excited to believe the lies. So let's listen to some things they say in their video advertising this. They call it a nine-month journey, and sure, it is over nine months, but it's only 15 days. But I guess it doesn't sound so expensive when it's $3,000 for nine months. So every, every year or five years, I can't believe it's five That's years, um, I have run sort of an emerging apostle. Starting in the fall of every year since 2017, I've run some iteration of an emerging apostles school and um it's been incredible it's one of those things i get a lot of pushback from because i'm told that i don't create apostles that god does <laughs> well yeah those people are right you don't create apostles god does but here's his sarcastic logic part of the pushback we get is from people saying no no you know Prophets don't need trained. They're trained by the Holy Spirit. Um, they just come fully formed. That's right. Apostles were chosen by Jesus, and he gave them authority to heal all diseases, to prophesy, and to do miracles. Can you do that, Ian? No, of course not. And a prophet is hearing from God. It's 100% God's choice to speak through someone. That can't be learned or taught. If you believe in these apostolic and prophetic schools, please understand this. One of my joys is, is you know, spotting, <laughs> is seeing people. Beep. Be, Beep. You know, you're a prophet, right? I think I've, I don't know how many times I've said that to people and they're, and they're like, um, no, I didn't. <laughs> so I, I think that's for me, that's a personal joy when I when I see people and can encourage them then on that journey. These people think they're pretty special if they can discern who prophets and apostles are. Another verse comes to mind, Romans 16, 18, for such people do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and by smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive. I mean, nowadays, who wouldn't want to be called a prophet or an apostle, especially when they're so looked up to in the new apostolic reformation? So they go on to explain how it all works, but we don't need to hear that. 
If you are involved in this movement, though, please remember, none of these so-called apostles are out there healing all diseases, raising the dead, and doing the miracles we saw the apostles doing in the Bible, because they're not apostles. They are the false apostles we are warned of in 2 Corinthians 11. And God alone chooses who he will speak through as a prophet, period. This can't be learned. And at the start, they mock the Holy Spirit being our teacher. Part of the pushback we get is from people saying, no, no, you know, prophets don't need trained. They're trained by the Holy Spirit. Um, They just come fully formed. That's right. But scripture is clear that he is our teacher in John 14, 26, and that he will remind us of what Jesus has said. We know all scripture is God-breathed, as it says in 2 Timothy 3. So if the Holy Spirit is going to remind us of God's word, then what must we do first? We have to read the Bible. But unfortunately, that's too much effort for many people these days. So instead, they do what it says in 2 Timothy 4.3, and to suit their own desires, they surround themselves with teachers that tell them what their itching ears want to hear. Read your Bibles, my friends, and know God's word and you can avoid much of the confusion that is going on in the church today. We're going to leave it here for today, but as always, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.